this new episode in this episode we will discuss about the mdg data cleanup activities so let's say that the customer discontinue for whatsoever discontinue the use of certain org data then they set the deletion plan in the org level that is called as a logical deletion and then they perform the archival activity for the database deletion so this is a common procedures with the every client and uh, yeah so the same thing they also execute in the mtg system to clean up the arc data let's say if you take a material sometimes they discontinue the use of uh, plant data storage data and the warehouse data or sales org data or if you take a business partner they wanted to discontinue the company code purchasing organization and then the sales organization or sometimes they wanted to uh, discontinue the use of material or business partner itself so in those cases they perform the archival uh, activity so we will see how but uh, how we can do it in the mdg system because we also take care of the staging tables so let's first perform the archival run and then we also uh, see how we can clean up this staging tables let's take any example material with the plant go to sc16n marcy let's take let's take uh, this material and let's lock this material in the change request so that the material material will also be created in material data also be created in the staging table so i click edit button process material test and then you can put something if you want otherwise simply save it <clears throat> so now the material is also exist in the staging table so when we perform the archival activity then we also need to take care of this staging table entries so let's try to delete the uh, plant through archival activity and uh, we'll see how we can clean up in the staging table so um to archive the plant go to the t code sara the archiving object is mm underscore metner right so you can say we are gonna delete one material so let's put the material number delete click edit button so now you see i don't have an option to delete on the org level so if you don't uh, have an option to delete on the org level you can go to s note and then implement this s note okay notice now implemented now once again come out from this screen and then rerun it and click on the right button and enter the same details and click edit so now you have all the org level data so now you can input the material data so 1037 and the plant we wanted to archive is 10 put 10 10 so i want to set it on the production media so before to that let's um, set the uh, deletion flag on the plant level so so the t code is m06 and then yeah click uh, the deletion flag on the plant level and then save it. so now uh, the material on the plant level we set the deletion flag so we can now now perform the archival activity so save it you can say test something okay start date immediate spool parameters accept to the default and then execute so the job is now scheduled check the status of the job so it's active one is finished one is active just click refresh so now it is finished now go back and then uh, perform the delete so now select the archival write document start date immediate save it spool parameters save it and then run it so the new deletion job is now scheduled now go to the job so everything is now completed that means the plant is deleted from the database so let's check that so go one three seven so the plant is now deleted right but if you check the change request so now when you check the change request data data still exists in the staging table so now uh, you know that uh, to synchronize the backend changes in the running cr or it, uh, sorry in the staging tables you can run usmd snapshot refresh report 
So let's go and run the report with this CR number. So go to SA38 and then use MD snapshot refresh and enter the CR number and click run. Okay, the snapshot is now updated successfully. So now go back and then click refresh. Uh, actually, you don't have to click refresh, but now go back and check the plant is removed. So the report USMD snapshot refresh now updated also the uh, staging uh, tables. So in this case, you don't have to do anything. Yeah, but let's take this another case. So now I close this, take another material. Let's take 1035. Now click on the edit button and then change the plant data. I'm going to the plant level. Okay, batch management I have to set on the major level. Okay, now I change the plant data and then click save button. So now you see that the it is indicated that the plant is changed. Yeah. So now close it. Close it and take a note of a seal. 617. So now close this. Now uh, 1035. So now uh, you can perform the archival activity, but that take time. So I'm going to delete directly from here. So normally you have to perform the archival activity. TD. Okay. So now I remove the plant data. Save it and come back. So now go and run this uh, USMD snapshot report. Mm, change request ID. Okay. So it is the, it updated the snapshot successfully. Yeah. So now go back and open the change request. If you scroll down, so you see now the system marked this entry as you know new setup of the plant. So the system identified that plant as a new plant. But uh, um, what we did, so this is the problem. Like if you change the data, yeah, the plant data in one of the change requests, and um, if you perform, if you run this report, a uh, USMD snapshot refresh, that will update the staging table but you know it will remove the record one you know whenever you change the data it creates um, two entries zero and then one one is a snapshot and the zero record is a uh, CR update running CR update so it will delete that uh, USMD snapshot refresh report will delete this snapshot but if you have made some changes to the plant then it won't uh, remove this entry and the system mark this entry as a new but in your case you uh, don't want this uh, org data talk you wanted to really clean up because your organization decided to discontinue this so um, for some customers uh, we supported them by implementing a report to clean up these data and this is not the only reason uh, the customer wanted this report but they are so wanted the report uh, because they had uh, they have some dirty data in their uh, staging table it is uh, it happened because uh, some customers misused the class which is which used to update the staging table using some enhancement etc so then what happened is normally when you uh, final approve the cr their data removed from the staging table and then it stores in the active area but in those customers the data some data some data still exist in the staging table it didn't really clean the proper and this was one case and another case is some customer they are really um, a, you know their system is they're running in a, a very low very low version so they were uh, missing so many s notes because of that that clean up the staging clean uh, table cleanup wasn't happening properly so because of those two reasons uh, we created a report to clean up this uh, staging table we successfully executed it and uh, we cleaned up their staging table and then there were uh, everything was very good and there were no complaints so to clean up the staging table before you are doing any database cleanup uh, we have to make sure that there is a proper database uh, backup and then we perform these activities I will show it to you. So let's say, so you have, um, you know, in this case, this is the plant. And let's say, I copy this here and we go to our report. Go to SA38 and then, um, yeah, 
select the report so this report you can delete on the uh, you know org level or you can also enter the change request id and then perform the deletion so i think it was and plant run it and the report execution is successful so when you go back and click search button <coughs> and open this here you see it deleted the plant data from the staging table it cleaned up completely so let's take another case also let's go to uh, sa 16 n marcy 1052 so i'm going to fight to click edit button process material okay change the plant data it's changed sales it's called variant some other please click done save it 618 close it so now go and run the report 618 same plant the report execution is successful now go back so as you see the plant data is cleaned up so um if you have this requirement and you need a support to clean up the staging table either uh, because you wanted to you know perform this uh org data cleanup or your system has um, dirty data that the staging tables are not properly cleaned up after the cr is final approved in that case it will cause some inconsistencies in the change request when you create a new change request so if you need any support in these two areas for both material master or a business partner or even for the finance master a finance master i don't you will not have a problem because that runs only in the staging table yeah so if you have a problem with the business partner and material master of course you can contact us we will support you with you support you guys yeah okay so that is all guys for today and uh, yeah if you need any support in these two areas uh, please feel free to uh, you know drop a note so that we will uh, you know provide you the support thank you guys for watching this video we will come back with another video with a new concept thank you so much have a nice day